Hi Aries, I'm Anisha. You can write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com and this is a monthly forecast for July 2015. Aries, it's an extremely busy month for you. We normally have one full moon and an eclipse but this month we have two full moons and uh, we're beginning the month uh, with a full moon that is there right on top of your chart. Now this is a, an extremely important aspect for you Aries. This has to do with your career. It has to do with your social standing. It has to do with your reputation. And uh, this is the time also um, th and this full moon is happening in Capricorn for you and we also have the planet of truth Pluto that is there. Now this particular house has to do with uh, uh, your uh, career, decisions, uh, movements, a lot of you, there seems to be a lot of stress uh, as far as your work is concerned. They could be uh, either redefining as to what is it that you are going to be doing ahead. Uh, it also speaks about absolutely new career paths and this is a time that you could um, feel uh, under pressure in the sense that you could feel quite watched. You will feel that people are really, um, you know, looking at you very carefully as to what is it that you're doing you know you could be under a, a, a telescope and seeing as to how it is that you're functioning the decisions that you're taking as far as the work uh, is concerned or even the way that you're handling the current role that is being given to you there is a possibility that you could get an enhanced role in the current place where you are and um, it, it could just be a more uh, it could be a wider, uh, a broader role, maybe your portfolio gets increased uh, and it, it it will, a lot of it will be dependent on your uh, skill set and I would say around this time it lesser has to do with your man management skills, it really has to do with your core competency. So you could come up for scrutiny as to whether you are really competent enough for that role to be able to take uh, the, the role of leadership or maybe a more enhanced role that is being offered to you and uh, it's a good time uh, for you to be putting your um, right foot in the front uh, Aries uh, wherein uh, to be a little bit more aggressive to maybe to also to um, give that assurance uh, to your bosses, to your peers, that you're able to handle the role because there seems to be a, some sense of a, uh, unsurety around you. There seems to be a sense of will he be able to manage? Is he up? Uh, you know, is he competent enough? Uh, so all that is the environment that is around you. Now with Pluto being there as well. Now here is where the challenge really happens for you, Aries. Now Pluto is a planet of um, truth, you know, and he really does not beat around the bush. He just presents the things as they are now. Pluto is going to be bringing around a lot of harsh truths to you as far as your work is concerned and you may find uh, that you are either looking for an absolutely new role or a new job even it can be a change of uh, location and it, it it's also a sense of truth that you realize that you know you're not really bringing much of a value to the current place that you are or uh, you don't see yourself really growing and the truth will hit you and it will hopefully make you move. Now this is also uh, quite an uh, intense time with the uh, Pluto and uh, Capricorn and the full moon happening at your workplace wherein it can be that some of you may fall from grace, it can be that uh, at your workplace and because it also has to do with the social standing it, it is also indicated that if there have been certain expectations out of you, people will just realize you know that oh he can't do it or, or he's not um, what we thought him to be. So there is going to be sort of falling from grace and uh, it could be um, a stressful time for you because your social beating or the image that you have been projecting so far of yourself to uh, the outside world will sort of get uh, cracked and you will find people really um, and even socially. So uh, besides your work even socially you will find some people uh, look at you and say that oh you know he is not really what he projected uh, himself out to be and and this is really um, a time where it is called or this fall from grace or uh, you know uh, loss opportunities is really pointing all towards an inner transformation and it's asking you to change it's asking you again to um, have a look at the things that you have not been doing so far and maybe you need to be really um, 
identifying uh, with your inner self and hence projecting it outside uh, so so far there there seems to be a kind of a dual uh, a duality around it that you could be feeling something inside and you could be just it could just be a false bravado outside that you you know portraying to the entire world that oh all's well and everything is uh, quite fine this aspect also has to do with that when in a particular family that you are born um, you know where both the parents are emotional dictators and you've learned as a child to sort of suppress your emotions and you don't know how to um, you don't know how to articulate or you don't know how to express your emotions so and hence that when you become an adult and how it is that again that you're trying to shape other people or you're having interactions on that emotional plane so this is really a time where uh, it's uh, really a sort of a delayed uh, childhood stress as well that could be manifesting now as an adult uh, in you wherein that there could be a lot of confronting uh, feelings that could be coming about and this is a time where um, you know a, a lot of judgment i think you will feel uh, you could be reminded there could be a sense of deja vu that how you felt when you were small and you were not able to sort of you know be the perfect child be the good child conform do this uh, uh, and you could have again it's that conditioning uh, and we've i've been speaking about this uh, in in the last couple of my videos because there has been a lot of focus on you on your identification your values or your conditioning how it is that you think and how it is that you take decisions so this is a time wherein that uh, all that is again going to come to uh, focus again and you could feel pretty much uh, like that small uh, child you know who doesn't know how to sort of uh, take in decisions or is again conforming to what is it that is expected out of him from um, his parents or from his uh, peers the entire pluto capricorn transit again speaks about a transformation it is it's asking it's demanding you that you change you make that inner change in you and then you uh, start over again in the first week also we have a venus and a beautiful jupiter conjunct that is happening and it's happening in a part of your chart that has to do with children it has to do with creativity and it also has to do with happiness at home and uh, this is really a time in july where you will find yourself being very indulgent or and jupiter being there in this particular house just sort of expands everything and you'll be feeling a uh, very um, generous magnanimous and uh, uh, you know and, and it, it could be because this house has to do with children it could be for children's happiness and there could be just be a sense of expansiveness in you you know you'll be feeling very happy um and, and this is also uh, an excellent time wherein that uh, uh, you will be patching up things so there could be a sort of you know that they have if uh, you've been having a tough spot uh, with your children there could be a time where it could get solved as far as creativity is concerned you'll just find yourself finding a lot of creative ideas to be solving things that you have been uh, stuck with stuck with now the only uh, drawback of this particular uh, venus and jupiter transit is the procrastination that comes along with it so watch out for your weight try not to sort of overindulge and not to um, you know uh, sort of just uh, let go now this entire month we have your ruler mars that is there in your house of home that's a house of cancer and uh, uh, for the first three weeks we also have sun and then we also have mercury that is coming and being there so a lot of focus at your home at at your house of cancer this also rules your mother so there is going to be uh, uh, a lot of um, a lot of focus uh, which has to do with communication that is being done at home and because mars is there they could bring about some amount of either impetuousness impulsiveness or even rashness you may commit yourself to a family member more than more it could be just in a spur of a moment that you say something and uh, you know then it is done it can also it also indicates at times that uh, you know the maybe the aggression or maybe the sharpness of the voice uh, of the tone or the words that are being spoken at home you need to be careful about that overall this entire um, aspect of uh, mars mercury um, uh, being there in 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 your uh, ha house of home it really speaks about uh, um, not to be very impulsive while taking decisions especially when the regard uh, as in regards to your home so you need to be really um, 
careful and keep the irritation at bay and try and take decisions with an extremely um, calm, collected uh, mind. And uh, this is uh, uh, mid-month also we have Sun that is going to be squaring Venus that really speaks about disappointments that could be there as, as far as uh, relationships are concerned. You could find yourself being quite irritated by your other, uh, by your partner's behavior and this entire thing about the irritation with your um, with a special person or with your partner really indicates about your own inner resentments that are going to get reflected. There seems an inability uh, for you to be able to do certain things or take certain decisions which are going to just sort of create that entire irritation uh, in you. There's a new moon again that we have in your uh, home again. So a lot of focus on your home and it's really a time where you're going to be... Um, there's going to be a heightened awareness of your roots, about your sense of responsibility for your family and uh, intimacy issues, being vulnerable. So, you, you, and and with this uh, with this moon energy over there, it's just an, another new opportunity for you to be starting all over again at home. So, uh, it's an excellent time to be in touch with your feelings, with your needs, and with your families as well. So, you could be sort of going back to your roots. You could be. Uh, maybe a lot of conversations happening with your uh, parents and uh, like I said it focuses a lot on your response your sense of responsibility it, it speaks about uh, you, know, you being aware again uh, about your uh, you know things that you should be doing at home and, and so on and so forth and uh, so it, it's a great time Aries for you to be planning uh, for your future with your family about reorganizing things and uh, just maybe you could be even doing some amount of um, maybe some some amount of renovation is being done at home maybe you could be just making the house more lovelier and uh, you know could be making it more pretty so some amount of work seems to run us towards end of the month this is around the 26th and it's there for all the planets but of course it's aspecting for you in your house and uranus is going um, retrograde around the 26th and he's going uh, retrograde in a part of your house that has to do with you your personality and um, so unlike our uh, rest of the planets when they go retrograde say for example when a saturn goes retrograde you know the energy gets it it, it slows you down it's very heavy but uh, with uranus everything gets more intensified everything gets you need to be really really in focus and it, it just uh, intensifies that particular house where it is aspecting so for you because it is there in in your own house it's uh, the sense of rebelliousness, the sense to be wanting to break free from conformity, the sense of uh, wanting to do things your way will get really intensified. It will get very, very strong for you. And this is a, a time wherein that you could be... Uh, you could be forced to make changes on the way that you think, the the way that maybe you've been leading life so far. Um, maybe, you know, you will be forced to uh, relook at yourself, at your own patterns, the way that you think, your goals, your ambitions, uh, your habits, the, the way that you are. So everything with Uranus is really going to intensify and it's going to push you and it's uh, Uranus is also known as the awakener, so he's going to be coming in, awakening those dormant uh, feelings in you. Maybe all throughout you've just sort of thought about it and flirted with the ideas and you've just kept them on a side. But this is a time where it is really going to be coming and um, pushing you again to change. Now impulsiveness is something that you have to watch out for Aries. Try not to uh, do something uh, foolish. They can be, you can expect changes in the way uh, that you project yourself to others. Maybe you will make a conscious change over there. Even in your appearance, there can be certain changes. Uh, but uh, it can also be that you will be breaking free from expectations of uh, others as well. You can be uh, more spontaneous around this point of time. However, try and do nothing risky or foolish during this transit quite an intense month for you Aries and um, it's a lot of uh, not just work to be done but I think uh, a lot of change a lot of transformation that is being asked of you and uh, a lot of exciting times uh, at least a uh, beginning of exciting times for you Aries it's been a pleasure speaking with you I'll see you again next month and thank you so much for watching